From time to time you will get insects in your collection that are so small that they can't even be put on a point or even a minute pin. These are some of the microscopic arthropods that you'll run into. Some examples would be columbula, which are the springtails. They're one of the most abundant microscopic uh, insects that you'll run into. They're not really true insects, but they do count in your collection and are very important to obtain. The best way to process these specimens is to put them on a slide mount. Now if you have lots of them, you can put them in ethanol first. You put them in a vial of ethanol and then you take them from the ethanol and put them on slides. And So making slide mounts is another very important way to curate microscopic arthropods. This here is an example of a slide. When you label the slide, you want to put your collection information on the left side, so where you collect it, date, lat longe, etc., and then whatever your identification for that specimen is on the right side. We use here microscope slides, just regular plain slides. They look like this. And then we have cover slips. You can use any size cover slip. Um, these are one ounce cover slips. And then we use clear amount glue. So this clear amount um, is a type of glue that uh, dries fairly quickly and it's very soluble. You put the uh, glue right on the specimen and it's, it's a clear glue so it keeps the specimen on the slide uh, glued with your uh, cover slip on and then the specimen you could also see through the glue. Now it's real important when you put the glue on to try to not get any bubbles because bubbles are going to affect the view of the specimen. Clear mount glue, um, after a while it gets a little thick from being used constantly. You want it to have a nice liquid consistency. So, nice liquid consistency and all you need is a drop. If this glue starts to get the texture of honey, if it gets really thick, well then when you try to put the spec when you try to put the glue on the specimen, it'll push the specimen off the slide. So you want it to you want it, the glue to be able to set right on top of the specimen. If the clear amount glue gets thick, you can use toluene. Toluene will dissolve the glue so it's more of a liquid uh, consistency and it'll be more soluble. We're going to put this um, flea on a slide mount. Now fleas, they can go in alcohol or they can be put on a slide. Um, things like uh, columbula, springtails, and other really small uh, microscopic insects should be put on slides, but it's always a good idea to try and ID the specimen first while it's in alcohol. You could take the specimen out of the alcohol, put it in a petri dish, and identify it, then make a slide mount. Because if you screw up on the slide um, and you don't have the ID, then you may, you may mess up to where the, you won't be able to identify the specimen. You can keep your specimens in uh, alcohol first, and then from the ethanol put them on a slide. So you drop the specimen right on the slide and then you want to get rid of all the excess alcohol. And you want the specimen right in the center of your slide. If it, the specimen's not in the center of the slide, you can manipulate the specimen to turn it how you want it. You want to try to get that as dry as you can but not too dry. If it's too dry, then your specimen will desiccate if it's a really small one. You just want to get enough of the alcohol so it doesn't mess with the glue because you don't want to get bubbles. And the ethanol will sometimes cause bubbles in your glue. You could give it a little gentle blow and that will remove most of the excess ethanol. Then you take the clear amount and we just want a single drop. Just one drop.
you put the drop right on top of the specimen and then you get a cover slip and you set the cover slip right on top you don't want to put pressure on it the weight of the cover slip will cause the glue to spread out the, your, the glue will spread out and your specimen is right in the center Ho try to get in the center uh, of the cover slip but sometimes the glue will move the specimen so it's real important to try to get your specimen as close to the center as possible and then after you have your specimen mounted on the cover slip on the slide then you can add the labels and there's many different kinds of labels and you can add one there's kinds that are print and others that you have to uh, like that are like stamps these ones are like stamps where you have to lick the back of them and you set them on uh, but you set your label um, one on each side on the left side is the information where it was collected and on the right side is what you would put the uh, ID as such as this one up here this one has the collection information here and it's not written very well but you can see the um, information on the right side 